Hello, plant people. Welcome to Verescent. I wanted to do a quick little video here. It's getting to be nighttime, but I, I've had these plants, if you can see them, I'll stand up here, for a couple weeks, and I just, two weeks, three weeks, something like that. I purchased both of them from Lowe's, and Lowe's is kind of doing a new thing. I don't know if you've been to your local Lowe's recently, but you might want to check it out. And I am a certified fern killer. I know many of you out there are as well. I'm a serial fern killer, unfortunately. Don't pay attention to that poor bird's nest over there, <laughs> which is my most recent long-standing poor thing died by degrees victim of my uh, summertime what would that be for plants gauntlet really of the heat it did it has been struggling for months and then this most recent heat wave it just I didn't stay on top of it like I should, and I've been meaning to transition it to LECA, to semi-hydro, but not enough time, sadly. But anyways, back to what I wanted to do the video about, <clears throat> and I forget, you know what, I'll put it down in the comments if I figure it out by the end of this video, but this fern, I'm sure you guys have seen it before, uh, this is the heart leaf fern. I love this sucker. Look at those black stems. Or petioles, really. Look at those black petioles. Oh, are they petioles or stems on a fern? I'm not really sure. Fern newbie, sort of. But they were selling these and they're doing a wicking system. Is They were all in trays. They were in trays and if you look here, you'll see this wicking cord that they're doing and they were in the bottom of the tray was water and they were held up above it with this little wick going down into the water and I was like oh my goodness now I don't know if you know about a channel called heart shaped leaves but if you don't you should check it out i'll put a card up in the upper right hand corner and also down in the description she has a video about ferns and what she does she uses uh i forget what those little stakes are called but they're little watering stakes um go check out her channel her and her husband casey are a riot they're both a riot and they're awesome and I love them but anyway she has a video on ferns and what sh her fern care tips which is great and I would go check that out but also I just thought that this wicking thing that Lowe's is doing for now at least who knows how long it will go was pretty awesome and I've been testing it out like I said for about two or three weeks I'm saying it's closer to three weeks really and it is, you guys know it's hot here in Arizona where I live. It's 83 degrees in my house. My humidity level downstairs is around 35%, give or take. Upstairs it's a little more. It's closer to like 38 or 40 in my bedroom, my master bedroom. Because um, I have some plants in there and obviously the shower and things going on in there. Uh, so I have a little bit more humidity in there. But down here, it's about 35%. So this is what they look like in 83 degree heat in, for the past three weeks. They look amazing. This Hartley philodendron, I have killed one of these. And, you know, I had it in a terrarium sort of setup, and it didn't matter. <laughs> it just... One by one, the leaves, it didn't matter how often I sprayed them, watered them, whatever, it didn't work. But wouldn't you know, this wicking system seems to be doing the trick. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I would actually also like to try these ferns with semi-hydro and see if that makes any difference. But, 
So these like these are just reusable jars that I um, washed out, you know, like pickle jars and who knows what that I have them in right now. I'll find something more glamorous later <laughs> than this. I think I'm just have RO water in here. <clears throat> and I would recommend RO water, not tap water, because of all the chemicals in it. And I think I might have put a little bit of my semi-hydro water in here, a splash of it, in both of these, here and there. So that's what I've been using, and they are loving it. So this new Wick and Grow system, I think it was mentioned on Nick Pelleggi's channel, and I haven't watched the video where he showed it fully, but there's a planter with like this little oval indicator win window where you can see the water at the bottom, and I think it does something like this, where the planter in the top part has a wick inside the soil that goes down into the water reservoir and <clears throat> that way you can keep your plant watered and I think for certain plants like ferns that love to be consistently moist that is genius or if you happen to be in a hot climate genius I would actually like to test it out more with other plants somewhere down the line who knows when I'll get time to do it but eventually sometime I will but I wanted to share it all with you I thought this was pretty awesome I have seen at Lowe's they have from garden it's called garden expression or garden treasure they're ceramic planters that are solid gray and solid blue and they say that they're part of a wick and grow like system and they say ask an associate for details but whenever I do they have no clue what else goes with them but it's something like this I'm thinking where they have a planter it sits in the pot at a certain level and the bottom is supposed to be a water reservoir but smart of Lowe's to go this route and try this out. Very smart. I, uh, good business decision. Good, uh, good decision on keeping their plants li alive longer and healthier for their customers. So I thought this was pretty neat. And I hadn't seen it mentioned yet on, um, anybody, on any of the other planty channels I follow. So I thought that I would give you guys a heads up about it. I love this hardly fern. I love the black fuzzy petioles on it. I love the heart-shaped leaves. They have this texture to them that you can kind of see there. There was one there that had the biggest leaves I have seen to date on a hardly fern, but they were bent, which was just kind of crushed my soul a little bit when I saw that. I still wanted to buy the plant, but I'm like, no, no, get the one that's in better shape. And hopefully, if it continues like this, I will be as lucky and get super big leaves on it. And that would be awesome. So, I'll end the video here, guys. If you've seen this, let me know. If you've tried it out, oh, there's my planty helper hi. coming to say hi before I sign off. Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And Ooh. if you are a fern killer, you might consider giving it a go, guys. I have these plants in, you know, just these little jars for now. And it, they're a great option if you're on a budget and, and you can, you know, reuse them for something like this purpose. You know how um, they say love is blind? <laughs> Well, when it comes to my plants and the planters, um, I only have eyes for the actual plant, really. I mean, I'm starting to the tiniest bit pay attention to my planters, but really my focus is the plants. So I don't see the water reservoirs. I don't really mind. I'm like, whatever works and my plants are happy, I'm happy. But eventually I'll get something nicer that's more aesthetically pleasing. I would love to get something clear like this because it's just really hand, handy to, at a glance, see 
the level of water in them. Uh, you do obviously have to be careful of like sunlight and uh, if they're getting a lot of sun, algae developing if, if they're in a clear container, but I don't have them anywhere near a window, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, the, the amount of water these two ferns go through is staggering. I had no idea that they could go through so much water. You would think that this amount of water would last them for a week? No. It's crazy, the amount of water that they've been going through. I've, I've had to fill this up about two, almost three times sometimes with water in the course of a week. Some of that's because the wicking cord only goes down so far. But yeah, just a crazy amount of water that these ferns go through. So that was enlightening to find that out because I had no clue <laughs> how much they actually require. And this little uh, wicking system definitely showcased in my environment how much that could actually be. So if you guys try this, and I highly recommend that you do just because it's fun, right? To try new things. And if you're a fern killer, maybe this system will work for you. So I recommend you try it out and tell me what you think. Tell me what your experience is uh, at your local Lowe's. So this is where I found that. This, this little system that they have going on right now. All right, everyone, plant friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was um, informative.